Hey everyone on YouTube and welcome to BFX. This week we're concluding our two-part spacesuit special. Last week I showed you how to make an awesome spacesuit for less than $50 and this week I'm going to show you how to make the space helmet to match. As if that wasn't enough, we've also been challenged by Eric Landford of CNN's News To Me to create a cool zero-g effect. Former President Gary, can you spin the wheel? Ah! Yeah, I can do it cheaper. Leftover white tape, two old bike helmets and the plastic plate from an old TV, aluminum mesh, one used leg warmer, plumber's epoxy, and two tap lights. Crossing. 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 <laughs> I started by ripping out the styrofoam material from inside the helmets. I needed to make room for the faceplate and neck, so using a helper I measured and marked where I would cut. Then using a rotary tool I removed these pieces. Now I can put the faceplate on the front helmet and use plumber's epoxy to seal it in place. Next I can carefully place two patches of aluminum mesh over the vents. The bottom vents are then covered in tape and the top vents with a black fabric so your actor can breathe. I taped up the vents in my other helmet then painted both flat white with a base coat of silver. While that dried I made two strips of futuristic material using the same method as the spacesuit. Taping these in place fills the gap between the two helmets. The last steps are to add some velcro and padding, and of course a non-working air hose from the back of the helmet to the pack. And don't forget the tap lights! Open up the bay doors while we're still in war. Okay. No we don't! Support system activated. Computer, open up a comm channel to the Blender Prize. Hello? Captain Dirk, I was ejected from the ship. Can you come pick me up? Yeah, we're already like 37 light years away. And, uh... But isn't that the ship right over there? <laughs> no. Besides, you're just an instant. What's, what's that behind you? Huh? Engage. <laughs> God, I've been out here for so long. Thank you for stopping. I, I can't believe anyone stopped. Hey, boy. Why don't you get them back in the truck? Let's go somewhere, huh? Come on. Uh, uh, yeah. Th thanks for stopping, but n no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ensign. Engage. <laughs> Remember that you can get special Indie Mogul messages on your cell phone by texting the word Indie to 30644. And make sure you watch my interview on CNN coming soon. That's right, baby. Real TV. For all the details on spaceships, go back and watch our spaceship episode, but here's a little taste. It's just fishing line and green screen. And magic. <laughs> The best love story is without a doubt Beauty and the Beast, a tale as old as time, as true as it can be. Say anything, hands down, say anything. Shaun of the Dead, a romantic comedy plus zombies, British. For a love story, Princess Bride, no doubt about it. <laughs>